Can you guys tell how excited I am right now? Do you know why? Because I have had this box in my possession, sealed since like the 25th of November. That was several months ago at least. And before that, I had to wait six months for this thing to arrive. And I waited that long for you, for us. Because the last time I ordered one of these, we opened that box together like this. Do you remember? That's right, this is the other one. This is the blue one, the st staple gun lightsaber. Ooh! Hello there, welcome. This is Star Wars in real life where we just, where we sometimes skip video intros because we're just way too excited to do that. I'm just, I'm just gonna skip it. We're just gonna skip the entire intro altogether. I've had this box way too long at this point. It's almost embarrassing. Look how old this box is. Are you ready? I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Like literally all that dust. I really hope the camera caught that. I've had this for a while. Excuse me for a second. Ooh, quick shout out to Phoenix Props, the maker of this lightsaber, and to Jonah Marie Macias, also known as Blue Jay Guys on Instagram and Twitter, who told me about this lightsaber run. She has a podcast called Geeky Bubble, and she's a massive, huge Star Wars Rebels fan. She loves Ezra, and she's the one who told me about this. So without her, this video wouldn't even exist. So thank you, Jonah Marie. And guys, let me just take a moment here. Just look at this. Ready? I'm gonna very gently Aw, when did, damn it. The box has suffered some damage, but still though, look at this. It's gorgeous. Look at this, clean, white, elegant looking box. And then we got the Ezra lightsaber, like blueprint style schematic, I guess we'll, we'll call it. I wish I had more like uses for that word. I just like saying that, schematics. That's nothing, but yeah. It also says Spectre 6. That was Ezra's code name in Star Wars Rebels. Kanan was Spectre 1, Hera was 2, then Chopper, Zeb, Sabine, and in Spectre 7, Jason Syndulla. There is no Spectre 8 that we know of, but if there was, who do you think it would be? Rex or Callus? Comment down below. I, I wanna hear like some really weird, <laughs> weird theories. Open this very gently. Okay, this is it. This is it, you guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, everyone. Let's do this together. Here we go. Please ignore that. I don't know when or how that happened. Here we go. A box within a box. Classic. I don't, know, I don't know what that piece of cardboard is there, but <gasps> yes, it's got some, it's got some fingerprint smudges. That's okay. That's that's temporary stuff. But <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe I'm holding this in my hands right now. Very disassembled. I really hope there are instructions somewhere in here. And very clean looking. Not a lot of design or imperfections on it. I'm pretty sure I did it that way on purpose, knowing myself. I probably would have wanted to weather my own lightsaber, which I forgot I was gonna have to do. <laughs> Yay, for having things to do. Yeah, so the uh, the packaging is kind of hilarious. And by that, I mean weird. Like we have this beautiful, clean, elegant white box here. And then I don't know what that random piece of cardboard was. So like a lot of, a lot of the foam is missing. All right, let's see what else we got. got the lightsaber. Got some Allen wrenches and other pieces that I do not have the vocabulary to identify. So we're just gonna leave that there. Spectre 6. These are the other pieces that are going to make Ezra's lightsaber look more like Ezra's lightsaber. Uh-huh. Emitter. Is that everything? No instructions? Am I supposed to Figure this out on my on my own? No way! What about you, Mr. Cardboard? Do you have instructions hidden somewhere? Nope. 
Okay, but there's no way we can be expected to know all of this, is there? I'm gonna look through my emails. Maybe there's like an instructional email somewhere. Please be here. Please be here. Yes! It's here. Oh! It's, it's almost an hour long video. We're doing this. We're actually, yeah, we're gonna do this. Before you get started, you're gonna want a couple things um, that aren't included in the kit. Because we have one bolt, unfortunately, that needs to get chopped down. It doesn't have to look like this. Any kind of bolt cutter will do. Bolt cutters? Some sort of file. I am not exaggerating when I say I have never used a pair of bolt cutters in my life. I don't even know if I have bolt cutters. Okay, so the guy listed a bunch of other materials to get, so I found what I could. You know what? I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. We're just gonna do a time lapse. Okay, there it is. I think I'm pretty much done for today. Now, this doesn't have any electronics in it. So no sound, no light, which means I'm either gonna have to install those things myself or I'm gonna have to ship this thing out to some random like professional installer in the middle of nowhere and have them do it for me. I feel that as a Jedi, I should be building my own lightsaber, right? Don't you agree? Like, comment down below if you agree. That being said, I have no idea what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing. Oh, there's, I'm gonna have to do a lot of research, get materials, get help, lots of help from friends or, or you guys. Does anyone know how to make like this? Does anyone know electronics for lightsabers specifically? If so, please transfer some knowledge over here. Pew pew! Definitely, because I am, I am literally like starting from zero. That's not true. I've got like two things going for me. One, I have experience coding. I know like a few, like several languages actually, but mainly relating to like internet stuff. So I think I should be able to pick up Arduino. For those of you who don't know, it's basically a coding language that helps you program how LEDs behave. And the second thing is I actually have experience with soldering. LEDs, actually. It wasn't ever like Star Wars or cosplay related. I used to wear LEDs back in the day when I used to go to like music festivals and raves and stuff. Cause that's the kind of person that I am. Please don't judge me. But yeah, other than that, literally nothing. Any help would be much appreciated. You can comment down below. You can email me, reach out to me on Instagram, whatever. But until then, you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will keep on living Star Wars and I'll see you in the next video.